Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna talk about red plants. If you are a beginner and struggling with making your plants red or keeping red plants healthy, I will give you a complete guide about how do I make my plants to grow red and how do I keep them healthy. It's not difficult, just follow few basic steps. But first let's talk about simple facts and myths that are surrounding red plants. First of all, there is no one single approach that works for every single red plant. We have many different types, they have very different requirements, and you need to meet those requirements to make the plants healthy and red. Second, iron is not the thing that is making your plants red. So adding a lot of iron into your tank will not make your red plants red. Yes, of course, it's necessary and it's helpful, but this is not the bulletproof solution to everything. Next myth says that the red plants are only for advanced aquascapers and the beginner's aquarist will not be able to keep them. Uh, this is kind of a ridiculous statement in my opinion, because of course there are more advanced types of plants, but of course there are many types of plants that anybody can keep with following very simple steps. Okay, we covered few myths, it's time to cover some truths. Most of the red plants that you're gonna buy are going to be green at the beginning. You need some patience, some time and some work before they're gonna get red. I would say that depending on the type of the plant, you're gonna need between 2 to 4 months to see the final colors and shape of your plants. And for stem plants, you need to have at least three to four trimming sessions because this is how you get the final coloring. So don't get discouraged if you don't have the results right away. This is perfectly normal. At the beginning, focus on the basics and the needs of the plants. You're not gonna get any red plants if they are not healthy. So starting from the obvious. You need to have a strong light in order to grow healthy plants. Today most of the lights are LEDs, which is a very good thing. LEDs are very efficient, very powerful, and quite often you can control the light spectrum they are producing. If you have this choice in your light, it's always good to change it for a little bit more blue and red. Those two colors will increase the pigmentation of your plants. If you don't have this option, it's still okay. You just need to focus on delivering the lumen requirements of your specific type of red plant. Next thing you should remember about is CO2. Using very strong light without CO2 is quite risky because it's very easy to get a lot of algae in your tank. Of course, having pressurized CO2 system is preferred, but you can very easily and very cheaply make your own CO2 system. In the description, you're gonna find the link on how to do your own CO2 system. It's very easy. It's also quite easy to check how much CO2 do you have in your tank. For that, you can use a simple drop checker. Try to make it light green, and that means your CO2 levels are very good. If you have any doubts on how to use CO2 drop checker, again, the link to the proper video is in the description. Next thing to consider is substrate. Good quality substrate will help a lot with getting your plants nice and red. Red plants really like to take their nutrients from the roots, so having a good substrate helps a lot with that. If you don't want to use an active soil for some reason, you can always use root taps. You can place them under the sand or gravel and they will do the job. Only thing to remember is that they are depleting over time, so you need to keep up with them and replace them when they are out. And finally, we are reaching the topic of liquid fertilizers. One of the methods of how to make your plants red is nitrate deficiency. And this is also exactly the method that I use to make my plants red. And this is also what I would recommend if you're just starting with red plants or struggling with them. In this method, you are supposed to use only fertilizers that are low in nitrates. This method works only for certain types of plants and you should keep that in mind. I'm putting few examples on the screen right now. 
but one of those plants is Rotala Eichra, which I used for this tank and I will use as my example. So as you can see, it's starting to become a little bit more red and it happens with every trimming session. I have very rich substrate for this plant, but I'm not dosing any liquid fertilizers. So if you're looking for something red for your tank, Rotalas are very fast growing, they are easy to care for and very easy to get them red. So just to summarize, everyone can have red plants in their tank. Strong light, CO2 injection, very rich substrate and the lean fertilization method, possibly with nitrate limitation. That's it. So if you want to add some color to your tank, just try it out. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. As always, please hit the like button. It really helps me out. And as always, see you in the next one.